Welcome back. Today we're watching... Watching. Close enough. <laughs> Today we're reading The Search, which is the comic I've been most looking forward to since I finished the series, because I've been told it deals with Azula, and also her and Zuko's mother. So I'm very interested to see where this goes. I had a great time reading The Promise, so... Yeah, let's just, uh... Let's, yeah. <laughs> Begin! Wait, I want to know everything. Everything? For you, my dear, I'll start from the beginning. I guess this is a flashback, and that's Zuko's mom. Did you have a boyfriend? It is her boyfriend. A chem, my poor cowardly boyfriend. I have a bad feeling about this guy's future. <laughs> Something tells me <laughs> it's not gonna be good. Wow, so she was engaged to this guy. You're doomed, dude. That's it. Oh, we're back at Yudao. Cool, cool. So I guess it picks up right where we left off, which is awesome. Blah, 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 blah. The Earth King thinks we should draw on the wisdom of the past to build a society of the future. In treating his own family with dignity, a ruler learns to govern his nation with dignity. Hmm. This is something I've been thinking about a lot recently. For a lot of people, including myself, we put a lot of focus on fixing the world, right? Like, if only these policies were in place, or if only this leader were elected, or if only this thing happened, if only people saw it my way, the world would improve, right? But if we turn that lens on ourselves, very few of us have mastery over our own lives. So how could we possibly have mastery over the lives of others? If you can't get your own affairs in order, how can you expect to know what's best for the entire country or world? Keeping that in mind is useful for, for developing some humility. But it's so much more than that too, because while we may think about change in terms of voting and large policy decisions, actually we choose what we, we do every day and that has a greater effect on our environment than voting will ever have. So it's like our actions have more power and affect change on things closer and more important to us. Yet we focus more on the external and big sweeping changes from people outside rather than our own day-to-day -day actions. Zuko is actually a leader, but the same thing applies. He needs to get his own house in order before he can look to extend his arm to the entire kingdom. But it looks like Zuko definitely took some of that to heart, which is good. Back to the flashback. She's been chosen by the Fire Lord, I guess? Fire Lord Azulon, wow. We've had such trouble finding Avatar Roku's descendants. Oh, so Azulon deliberately chose Ursa for that very reason. I guess that makes sense, I just never thought about it before. The Fire Sages tell me that the pairing of the Avatar's granddaughter with my own son will yield a bloodline of great power. Well, he wasn't wrong. <laughs> Oh, Ozai's here too. Everyone's here. I'm- we're glad to have you back, Zuko. Alright, so it's not just me. They are pushing Suki- what would you call that? Zuki? Suko. That's so fun. I don't like them because they don't have a good shipping name. Oh, wait a minute. But Sokka's in there too. We can make this work. Zukako! <laughs> Really, that's the best you can do? Sokka's- <laughs> shit. Damn it! Oh look, Azula and Ozai are having a chat. That's not good. Zuko, they're your prisoners, not your guests. They're still my family. Wow. Oh damn, Tai Lee just cheap locked her in her harness. Used to be friends. Yeah, ah, my old friend Tai Lee. Tell me how she got to you and May. How'd she make you lose your fear of me? What's she talking about? Is she talking about her mother? She thinks her hallucinations are real? I'm hoping against hope that Azula has a nice ending. I mean, I know it's a lot to ask for, but it would make me very happy. Okay, so Ursa was an arranged marriage with Ozai. <laughs> oh no, Ikem, get out of the way! Don't do it! Don't do it to yourself. You have my true love in your carriage. With all due respect, I c can't let you take her from me. Poor guy. Oh no, it backfired. I'll get him to leave, but you have to promise not to hurt him, please. For me, my, my love. Tell me marrying that prince is what you truly want. Tell me and I'll go home. Fire Prince Ozai honored my family by asking for my hand in marriage. I joyfully accepted. Oh, man. Damn, that breaks my heart. Well, she saved his life. Not a great start for Ursa in this relationship, I guess. I've asked the palace staff to prepare your old room. I'd like you to stay there instead of the institution. I like that Zuko's being really nice to her. He doesn't have to be. I think he sees what, what I see. Maybe. Maybe there's a chance, you know, you can get through. Uh-oh, but... Oh, no. Have you ever been chi-blocked? For a few moments, as your strength returns, you find yourself more flexible than you ever thought possible. There she goes. Loose again. More unstable than ever. Damn, this guy's just crying. It's sad. It's sad. Oh, but he built a house. <laughs> Turn your negative energy into something great. That's the best thing when you're feeling heartbroken is to get busy. Do something productive. Especially physical labor like this. Oh, my God. The worst thing you can do when you have a heartbreak is like just lie in bed and mope, you know. You gotta be active even if you don't want to be necessarily. Sports, building something, doing art, even like cleaning. All those things in the past have helped me when I like am really down. Damn, but he's really going full wilderness though. He grew a mustache in like five minutes. I thought the story was over for Ikem, but I guess not. He's meeting spirit wolves or something. 
Oh, she didn't run away. She just wanted to find something. It's letters that she wrote and the key to finding her. Where's Toph? She had to stay at the academy. Why are you guys always writing Toph out? Oh no, is Toph gonna get left out of this comic? Come on. All right, I just want to point this out, okay? So I joke about Katara being deadly. Here she shoots ice, right? Here we have actual bullet holes. So there you go, in case there was any doubt. So Azula made a deal with Zuko that she'd tell him the location as long as she's allowed to come and not be in restraints, which is interesting. And I hope that's a good sign. <laughs> New nickname for Zuko. How about bad decision, Lord? Ah, oh, Sokka. I don't care how many times this has to come up. I'm never going to underappreciate Sokka ever again after seeing that movie. Good morning, Azula. Beautiful day for a trip, isn't it? Wow, I can't believe that... Azula's gonna ride Appa. I never thought I'd see the day. Open sky above us, a daring mission before us, and friends all around. Just like old times, isn't it? Damn right. I'm really thinking of these comics as a way to, like, wean myself off to dull the emotional pain. Too bad Toph couldn't be here. Yeah. Yeah. It is too bad, isn't it? Instead of Toph, we have Azula. Alright. You're only hurting yourself, my daughter. Don't you pretend to care about me. Oh, no. What I want to believe is that these hallucinations are Azula's good side trying to break through. But I feel like almost nobody comes back from the depths that Azula has gone to in terms of forming her personality. Something would have to replace her value system that she got as Fire Lord number one, you know, Fire Kingdom above all else. Something would have to make her feel better than that made her feel. Oh, so Ursa was giving letters to be delivered to her hometown, but this lady was stashing them. And as I was reading them, ugh. Here Ursa reveals a secret that requires my prince's immediate attention. What could it be? <laughs> Come on, Wolf Spirit, I'm great bridge guy, you don't wanna... <laughs> Appa finally seeing some action. He hasn't done anything in a while. Shades of season two, Appa. Did he just summon bees? Butterfly bees? What the heck is going on? It just threw up a cloud of moth wasps. How did I get it wrong twice? So Zuko lets Azula free. She blasts the moth hornets. It'd be cool if she actually joined as a member of the party. As long as you have Toph too. You can't just leave Toph out just because you want to put Azula in. That's not fair. After all those snowballs to your forehead, you still look out for her. Katara is my sister. When it comes to her, I don't mind getting the short end of the deal. Ah, <laughs> Yeah, and Zuko looks awkwardly at Azula like, um... Oh, look at him! You know, give him credit, man. He's trying. Impractical as it seems, he's trying to make it work. He's taking a big risk, you know? My dearest Ikem, my one consolation is our son Zuko. When I look into his eyes, it is as if I'm looking into yours. My thoughts are with you always, La Versa. Our son! Is he not? Related to the fire peoples? Oops! No wonder Ozai didn't like Zuko. This is certainly a big shock. It's a cool twist. I'm not sure I like it though. I think it's cooler if Ozai actually is Zuko's father because then it's something he has to deal with. But I prefer the idea that you are the product of your parents' positive and negative traits and that part of becoming an adult is understanding exactly where you come from and finding harmony among all the different components and finding a balance that works for you. I feel like that's now something that was just taken away from Zuko. But I'll give it a chance. Maybe there are some interesting things that they can do with this. So let's see. All your life, you've hidden behind a mask of intimidation and fear. Take off your mask. Only then will you see the beauty of your true destiny. What's her true destiny? The throne is my destiny. Isn't it? I mean, I have... Azula's having her own Zuko thing now. Questioning the Fire Nation values for the first time. Very cool. Oh no, is he gonna kill Ikem? Yep. Find him, rid the world of him. Oh, so he didn't actually kill Ikem, he couldn't find him. But it didn't stop him from telling Ursula that he did. Good guy, Ozai. Why, Azula? Why'd our relationship have to be like this? Oh, look at him, he's holding him over the cliff. Wait a minute, you've had the letter all night. Why didn't you burn it when you had the chance? Because it doesn't mean the same thing to him. <laughs> Nature hates you. <laughs> What's the significance of the play? I haven't really figured out the story yet. Oh, wait. Is the blue spirit mask from this play? Oh, okay. So I'm skipping ahead here, but for those who haven't seen the comics, they found out that Ursa came back looking for Ikem, but then went to the for, for, uh, the Forgetful Valley, which is supposed to be very dangerous. Which is where Ikem seems to have gone and disappeared. Oh, this is the scene that we saw in the show, in Zuko Alone. Stop it, you're lying. Dad would never do that to me. Ursa learns about the plot to kill Zuko from Azula. So just by circumstance, Azula ends up saving Zuko's life. I'm gonna make you a deal. You want the throne. I know how to make a poison that is colorless and odorless. Once we've made our exchange, you must leave the capital city and never show your face again. Yeah, so it's basically what I guessed in Zuko alone. I didn't know that Ozai knew about it beforehand, but they plotted it together. You're going the wrong way, Azula. Turn back and find your true destiny. What the heck? Deadly flower throwing stars? <laughs> because nature hates her. <laughs> Classic Sokka. I love you, Sokka. Okay, so they're waterbenders, and her brother lost his face. That's why he wears a mask. So she went to the forest because she heard about a spirit who could return faces, which is like some kind of anti-Ko the face dealer. 
This is a cool shot. So you spent your whole life trying to heal, heal your brother. Of course, I'm his sister. Now that we have nice glance between Sokka and Katara, and then awkwardness between Zuko and Azula. No, there's gotta be something I can do. After all, I'm the great avatar. The great the great bridge between the spirits and the humans. We know, we know. That's good. Yep, so Aang just rides a giant spirit bat. Now he's riding the wolf. Who dares ride my wolf as if she were some common beast of burden? I'm the avatar, who are you? Mother of faces, damn. Is Ko's girlfriend? Pretty cool looking though. This actor guy's making moves on Ursa. Perhaps I could buy you breakfast? You know what that means. Well, you may have a point there, Ursa. I'm certain I haven't introduced myself. Uh, oops. When we were six, you kicked me in the stomach and pushed my face in the dirt. What in the world? When we were 21, you shattered my heart. Did he get a new face? Is that what it is? So, yeah, so it's Ikim. Ikim. He's in the village right now. Does that mean we also saw Ursa? Did her face change as well? <laughs> Never have I strayed from the path my wolf chooses for me. I do so now in deference to the Avatar. The great bridge between the spirits and humans. See what I tell ya. <laughs> Epic I told you so from Aang. Humans like you often chase after me, begging for new identities. The problem is, they only get one favor, and they have to choose getting what they want or giving the face to these people who have been looking for the spirit for so long. Good guy Zuko gives it to Misu. I remember her. I could not understand why a human of such beauty would ask for a new face. So we did see her. Oh, she's the one in the play. She's the, the other Noriko. Norn and Noriko. Yeah, so they were at their house, and then Aang fought crabs. Ursa, I sense much pain in you. Do you really believe a new face will relieve you of this pain? Yeah, I mean, it won't. You change your appearance, but can't change your memories, can't change who you are. I can do more than give you a new face, I can give you a new mind. One that does not remember the life that came before. But then you lose your children, she's not gonna do that. How about my children? Are they a part of the life you wish to forget? Yes, then you will not remember them. Hmm. That's why she didn't make a big deal out of them arriving. She doesn't know who they are. That's terrible. This girl energy bends. Do what you came to do, tell her you haven't forgotten who you are. He's not gonna do it. Oh, he is gonna do it. My name is Zuko. I am the Lord of the Fire Nation, and I'm your son. Wow. Oh, damn. He wasn't lying. He <laughs> does need a face. Quiet. Did you say Ko the face dealer? He's my son. That explains it. Then maybe this is where I belong too, with my mother, my sister, and my father. No, but that's not possible. Ursa and I, we never... So Zuko is Ozai's son. There she is. <laughs> Tell me, mother, did you have to have a new daughter because your last one turned out to be such a monster? Yikes. Haha, <laughs> back for more snow peasant. Where's your little toy? Right there. Is it behind her? There it is. I can't help but notice he still hasn't gotten back his sword. If what you say is true, if I really am your mother, then I'm sorry I didn't love you enough. Ouch. That's what Azula needs. She needs more things to like crack her, crack her shell. Get her to feel something other than just the Fire Lord's craziness. The other morning when you had me over that cliff, why didn't you just let go? You could have gotten rid of me and this letter. In my heart, I know. I've always known that the throne is my destiny. Nice. I'm glad. One fact never changes. No matter what, you're still my sister. I'm really glad that they took this tone with it, that Zuko's actually trying, that he actually cares. Going back to where this comic began, like I said before, he's getting his own life in order, and that will hopefully give him the strength to look outward and become a better ruler. Oh no, she disappears into the forest. Is she gonna get a new identity? I like the shot a lot, it's cool. Human, do you wish to return to who you once were? Oh, it's Ursa doing this. Hold still. <laughs> Sokka's face. That's why I love you, sweetie. You always see the bright side of things. Zuko, what I said to Azula, I owe you that same apology. I forgot you. What kind of mother forgets her son? She did leave him and she did forget him, but honestly, there was only so much she could have done at that point anyway. There are some things you just need to learn for yourself. In fact, it's not hard to imagine a situation where things could have been worse if she was around the whole time, you know? I can see a scenario where Zuko would have continued leaning on her and leaned on her for his whole life and never developed the strength to go out on his own and figure out who he was. And, you know, who knows? Things could have turned out completely different. Nobody wants to experience loss. Nobody wants to experience pain or, or suffering. But even so, there are sometimes these great things that can come out of it, you know? He even said it himself. It was pain that started him on that journey. Things worked out because he kept moving, he kept pushing himself. He had faith and things worked out. So if Ursa gave him that ability or that strength, then she did enough. Ozai, how could you? You know as well as I that Zuko is your son. Of course he's my son. Why would you write such an obvious lie? Maybe I wanted to see if you were reading my private letters. So Zuko is Ozai-san, and I'm honestly relieved. Is that truly what you wish, that Zuko were not mine? Every time I treat Zuko as if he were the son of a treacherous dog, I will simply be fulfilling his mother's wish. Ozai is a wretched man, yeah. I mean... But he's still my father. Good for you, Zuko. So what he's doing right now, I feel like, is really, really a transcendent understanding of things. Especially with our parents, or with people who have authority over us, or who really had us in their grips. It's typical, I think, to get stuck in that dynamic forever, and just to feel total bitterness, or um, regret, or resentment. But 
part of really understanding things is seeing it fully and that means seeing the bad for what it was and the good for what it was and being appreciative of both and it's it's really difficult to do i mentioned in the q a i did the personal q a that i had a guru it was the guru actually that helped me see that at that time i really fully understood for the first time that my parents were humans who were flawed just like me and that they did their best to give me everything they had despite their shortcomings and they got me to a place where I could then get myself the rest of the way. And so there was kind of a mental passing of the torch for myself where now I was just grateful for everything they had done and forgave them for things they didn't do or things I felt they did wrong and then put everything in my own hands. Like I accepted it, that now it's on me, you know? That resentment has no place anymore. I can pick and choose what I want to continue, what I want to carry out, who I want to be. Taking that onto my own shoulders, you know, accepting the full autonomy for myself from this point on, that helped me have so much more openness and compassion for them in a way that I feel helped my relationship with them. I think that is a nice goal to have, you know, it's a nice ideal state to be in where you can, you're under no illusions, you're not trying to sugarcoat anything, you remember exactly what it was, but by passing things to yourself, by taking up the torch for your own future, you're allowing forgiveness to happen because you no longer are attached to the trauma of the past, you know? So I really like that Zuko is showing that here. Like, think about all the things Ozai has done to him, right? But Zuko's right. He is his father. We just reconfirmed. It's time for Zuko to be the man he wants to be, regardless of how Ozai was to him. And wouldn't it be nice if he actually could turn around and start helping his father and sister? I know that's idealistic in the realm of the show, but in real life, I think that is something that can happen once you allow that space, you know, the space where you take it on yourself and you allow for forgiveness to happen. I want to know everything from the beginning. That's how the comic started. For you, my dear, I'll start from the beginning. Wait, what happened to Azula? Do we ever find out? No, nah, damn it. She ran off into the forest. I'm guessing she got a new identity, but I mean, I have no way of confirming that. Hmm. So I guess I will read the other comics, but it won't happen anytime soon because Korra's starting. I like this comic a lot in hindsight. I was worried for a bit that the twist was real. And so I, I was kind of struggling with certain elements of that. But now in hindsight, realizing that that was not the case, I really like this, especially for Zuko. And I'm so happy he got to find his mother. Uh, but I want closure on Azula. That's why I was so excited about this comic. But oh well, can't have it all. I enjoy doing this. If you guys like this kind of video, I will put it on the back burner for now and maybe come back to it after Korra. But either way, thank you for watching. Thank you for recommending the comics to me because I don't think I would have read them otherwise. So I would to you guys. And uh, yeah, I'll see you for Korra.